So right now, our News 2's team gives back. We're raising money for a fallen deputy's family. In fact, Macon County Sergeant William Cherry died recently in a wrong way crash. And since then, the community has stepped up to help him out and in a big, big way to help out the family. And they're doing it again. We've been able to raise thousands already. Haley Wilgus joining us live right there. And Haley, we just got a new grand total, too. Yes, we are now at more than $11,000 mark and we're still counting and we'll be out here till 6 p.m. So plenty more time to donate. Now, when one agency we know loses one of their own, other agencies and law enforcement officers step up to help. And one of those agencies that helped out, the Sumner County Sheriff's Office, and joining us now is Lieutenant Nathan Driver. Yep. And we know this is a loss for Absolutely. the whole law enforcement community. Yes, How did you all first help out after this tragedy happened? Uh, well, I, f I found out early that morning uh, I'd woken up I was off that night before and uh, I woke up and I found out that the uh, that it had passed and that he, they were at the Emmy's office so I got I got to working on getting an escort back for the family you know trying to let the family know that we're there for them and stuff like that and that, that includes the Macon County Sheriff's Office family and his immediate family you know so we worked on we got uh, Gulletsville fire Nashville fire Hendersville fire uh, Gallatin fire and all those uh, they set up flags over overpasses we got Westmoreland fire to set up a, a, a big flag when they came back into the county and so I just tried to organize something so that all the all the families could see that and so that they knew that, they, that he was cared about so that was a big thing for me so and you also covered for the county on the day of the funeral correct yes uh, Wednesday uh, we uh, I set up for the Lafette Police Department they covered from midnight to 6 a.m. the day of the funeral and then at 6 a.m. from 6 a.m. to 6 to 6 p.m. that day of the funeral, uh, the Sumner County Sheriff's Office provided myself and five other deputies. Uh, we covered the county for the entire we answered every call, done everything they needed, and we took care of that. And then at 6 p.m., Trousdale County Sheriff's Office came in, and they covered from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., and then Macon County took back over Thursday morning. So that was just that was the one way we could help out, you know, let all them go to the funeral, let them take care of their stuff and take care of their business and get all their emotions out and do the best they can. And just a few seconds left, you were born and raised in Macon County. What does this loss mean to the community? Oh, it's big. You know, it's if you've been out here today, I think they just said they're over $12,000. So it shows how much that these small knit communities care. They come together for everybody. And it's just a loss for everybody all together. So uh, it's just, just, just a big loss. And hopefully everybody will, you know, we can recover from it and move on. So. Well, thank you for all you have done so far. And we also want to thank the community for coming out all day today and dropping off your donations. And you can continue to do so. And if you aren't in this area, you can mail them in to the sheriff's office in Macon County. Mark, back to you.